Hello, welcome to Sorted Food. This is Fridge Camp. How is your week going? We have already had messages from people who have started receiving their club welcome packages. Look at these pictures of excitement. Now, if you haven't received yours yet, it's probably because you're in a much nicer climate than London. It would take a bit longer to get to you, but it's coming. If you've already received your welcome pack, then you probably already know the name of the next book that we're going to be making. If not, hang around until the end of this video because we have a title, we have a front cover, and we have a theme, but we do need your help. But before all that, if you like ramen, and we know it's one of your favourites, then enjoy this. Today we're looking at ramen. We have three different versions in front of us that we've made. Each takes a little bit more time than the other. Each takes a little bit more expertise than the other, but does it make a difference? First up, a five minute instant ramen. Now I'm guessing when we talk about instant ramen, you're thinking about the thing that comes out of a packet and then you get the mystery flavour packet and you put that in and suddenly you have flavour. Yeah, we're not doing that, but we kind of are, because we're making our own sachet. We're a cooking channel. This is the can't be arse method and we need a lot of ingredients for this, but not a lot of skill. We've got shiitake mushrooms. Puccini mushrooms. Benito flakes. Kombu. Chicken stock you. Ginger powder. Onion granules. Garlic salt. Clove. Black pepper. Chili flakes. And star anise. Yeah, who's niece? Star, star, and these. And one of these, a spice grinder. If you don't have a spice grinder, don't panic. You could use a pestle and mortar or a blender. And we're going to put all of that in there. A tablespoon of it into a pan with 1.5 litres of water. <laughs> Nailed it. Somebody boiled a kettle for me. <laughs> you can't even buy bother to boil a kettle. That'll boil away for five minutes, then we'll chuck our noodles in, cook them, serve. So simple. That took two people to make. I know. Ooh, ah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. are you thinking? However, the next one, a little bit longer, a little bit more going on. Like He's the man of ramen. Man of ma ramen. Yeah. One singular ramen. He loves ramens. <laughs> Time to take our ramen game up a gear. So where our instant ramen used a lot of dried ingredients, we're going to replace them with the fresh version. And it does use a couple of cheats. So you're going to want fresh chicken stock, some cured bacon, smoked bacon, and a bunch of fragrant ingredients. We've got leeks, shiitake, ginger, garlic, kombu, and star anise. So it begins with about a litre and a half of chicken stock in a pan, heats up to a boil. Smoked bacon, we've taken the fat off and that's going into the broth. And our bowl of fresh stuff, this is all going to go in, the only thing we need to chop up is the peak. Thank you very much. So the key to this one is a few less spices, no clove, no black pepper, no chilli flakes. It's all fresh, fragrant and needs about 30 minutes to bubble away. Once that's boiled away for 30 minutes, we need to strain it, then we use the broth to cook the noodles, then we season it and serve. Whoa! -ho -ho. It's the same. It, does it taste whoa, any whoa, different? Whoa, 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 Come over here. Come on. <laughs> there you go. This is a traditional ramen. <laughs> for our traditional method, we are going the whole hog, and we need the foot of a pig, the ribs of a pig, the carcass of a chicken, and a number of aromats, including onion, leek, garlic, ginger, and shiitake mushrooms. All of the animal bits into a large pan with cold water, enough to cover it and heat it to a boil. So we said animal bits. The reason we're using those is because that is where all the flavor is. It's got all the gelatin in it, so it makes it all like meaty and delicious. Once it's come up to a boil and you get that wonderful layer of scum, we've drained that off, rinsed it in cold water, and then put it back into a clean pan and topped it back up with cold water. Ben's done that. All I have to do is add the aromats, which are things that flavour the broth. After about eight hours of bubbling and occasionally topping it back up, we're going to do a two-phase strain, which is colander and muslin or cheesecloth. So chefy. So we're using a cloth because this has been rapidly boiled for so long 
that it's broken down a lot of the meat into very, very fine shreds. So we're just getting rid of all of those bitty bits. Now that's our traditional broth. We're gonna use it to cook our noodles in, season it just like the others. We should stress that every single bowl has been served the same. Identical seasoning of miso and soy, identical noodles, identical egg, and garnish. Right, let's dig in, give it a bit of a swirl, and let's start with the easy one. Right, give it a mix up. I like that. What I think it has is kind of a lot of spice to it, and it's kind of very all-rounded. The depth of it, yeah. like you're getting a lot from the broth. Yeah. You're getting a lot of different little flavours coming You're getting in. the mushroom. But it, I find it really hard to comment on that without tasting the others because yeah. I need the comparison to know whether I like that better or not as much as any of the other ones. That's very true. I don't eat ramen enough to know if that's good or bad. It's delicious. Second ramen. Move along. Oh, it's, it's, it looks darker. Oh, Ooh. wow. Ooh. This is going to be the hardest thing to feed back on because I can't work out what I'm tasting. But it is different class. I'm getting a lot more of the garlic and the ginger and the kind of the fresher flavours. Yeah. The first one isn't grainy, but there's a there's a slight Dry dryness yeah. to it. Whereas that is just all about explosion of flavour in your mouth. That one can taste a little bit too much salty. And then that one is mellow and rounded and delicious. These are all about delicate flavours, so it's quite difficult to describe. This is like getting instant coffee. And yeah. that, yes. that's like an espresso. Yeah. Oh, but now I need to know whether that one's like having a personal barista who knows my roast and knows my mm -hmm. grind. I, I'd have to say, even without tasting it, just looking at it, it's a bit more... It's a got, fat, it's got fat, it's fat got oil, lobules. yeah. Gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> that is like gravy. First one, instant gravy. That tastes like it's been like the jus of an animal. I think ramen is like sandwiches. Coffee, gravy, sandwiches. They're so bespoke and it doesn't matter where in the world you go or which region of Japan or which town or village or which personal family member makes it or restaurant, they're all slightly different. But when you understand what the difference is doing, so the time and the animal bits is giving it mouthfeel and body, whereas this one is much fresher, but it's also a tenth of the time. And I wouldn't say it's a tenth as good. No. I'd say no, it's definitely. as good for different reasons. Instant satisfaction of a ramen, have that, because it works, it's a ramen. If you want something that you could have on a regular basis, Go for this if you want a naughty treat. Definitely the last one. If you want to win an ultimate chef versus chef ramen battle, right. this is the way to go. Please do comment down below and tell us what you think about each one of these and which one would be your favourite. What should we be comparing next? We've done ice cream, we've done ramen. What should we cook mm. next? Good question. Now, funnily enough, three different ramens at three different effort levels leads quite nicely into the announcement about the theme of the next book. Seamless segue as we announce the theme is can't be asked. We heard from you that as much as you want to eat great food, you really can't be asked to go to the effort of all the cooking. Yes, yeah, so this is like rewinding to Salted Day One. We want quick, simple, tasty, easy grub that you can cook in, well, when you can't be bothered. Ask. My mum watches these. <laughs> so we have a title, we have a theme, we have a front cover, we have some ideas for recipes, but we still need your help in shaping the book. So please head over to the forum and let us know all of your ideas for your favourite can't be asked recipes. And not just ideas, actual recipes. If you want your actual recipe in the cookbook, that's the place to leave it. And if you didn't get to sign up to the club or you have absolutely no idea what we're talking about, then sign up to the club letter in the link down below. Give you all the information you need on how to join. And we will see you on Sunday. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>